Question 10, the equation x cubed plus 2x is equal to 110, and it says it has a solution between 4 and 5. We're asked to use a trial and improvement method to find this solution and give our answer correct to one decimal place. It says you must show all your working. So what we're going to have to do here is first and foremost set out a little table. And that is going to allow us to tackle this problem nice and easy. So in our table, we're going to have different column headers. We're going to, have to choose different values for x that we're going to plug in, and we're going to we're going to substitute these values into the expression x cubed plus 2x, and we're going to see how it compares to the answer of 110. Then what we're going to do is we're going to give a comment after each iteration, after each time we try a number. So first place to start is it gives us a bit of information. It says that we've got a solution between four and five. Um, common sense should tell you that if I'm gonna pick anywhere to start, start immediately at 4.5. That should get rid of half the bad answers. So wherever I have an X, I'm going to substitute 4.5. So I'm going to do 4.5 cubed, I'm going to add two lots of 4.5. And we want to see what that works out as. So we get the calculator out. Calculator is going to be essential here. And let's just get this set up. So we're going to do 4.5 cubed. And we're going to add two lots of 4.5. And let's see how that works out. Don't leave it as a fraction. Let's turn it into a decimal. We get 100.125. So 100.125. Now I need to compare that to the answer that um, I'm trying to get close to, which, which is 110. So the comment I'm going to make is that it's too low or too small. So Using that information, I know that 4.5 is too small or too low. So let's choose something a little bit bigger. Let's go for 4.6. We're going to do the exact same thing again. 4.6 cubed plus two lots of 4.6. Um, we're going to see how that works out. I'm not even going to reset the calculator. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to change the 4.5s to 4.6s. Make sure that you change them all. Don't forget one because it will cause you a problem. Let's delete that. 4.6. Hit equals. And we get 106.536. So 106.536. And we also can see that that is clearly too low or too small. So we're, we're going to go again. We need to choose a bigger number. Again, stay, staying to one decimal place at this point, we're going to choose the number 4.7. Going to do the exact same again. 4.7 cubed plus two lots, 4.7. It equals, get that into your calculator nice and quick. So change that to a seven and going back here. Let's change this to a 7. I suspect this might be too big. It is indeed 113.223. So 113.223 gives us an answer in comparison to 110 that is too high or too big. Just low, should I say small, too small. That's too small. And this one is going to give us an answer that's too high or too big. Now, most students are pretty okay at getting to this point of the question, but lots of students forget to do the next bit. This is critical to get your full four marks. Now, I'm asked to choose an answer correct to one decimal place. I can't just pick it immediately. What I need to do is do another little line. I'm gonna do a number line, and I'm gonna put down some facts on it. So I know that the number 4.6 is too low or too small as a solution. I know that the number 
4.7 is too big as a solution. But I'm not entirely sure exactly which one to pick. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a little test. This is important. We're going to test the number 4.65. We're going to go right bang in the middle between the two. So we're going to test 4.65. We're going to do the exact same thing. 4.65 cubed plus two lots of 4.65. And let's see how that works out. Getting that into the calculator. We'll change this and working backwards. And that's going to work out to give us an answer of 109.88 or 844.625. Let's just put 109.84. That should be okay. 109.84. 109.84. And remembering, this was too small, this was too big. The, the answer 109.84 in comparison to 110 is too small as well, which means that my answer, that the actual answer, the exact answer, has to be somewhere in here, somewhere between these two numbers. So if I was choosing an answer to one decimal place, it must be closer to this guy here, which means x is going to be equal to 4.7. And we're done.